guys, so today I have swatches of the Essie Bridal Collection for this year. Essie puts out a bridal collection in the springtime every year, and there's always like a few opaque shades and a few like sheer, you know, traditional Essie kind of shades. So there are six polishes in this collection, and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Between the Seats, and this is a light kind of pinky putty color, but it's really, really light. The pinky tone isn't picking up on camera either. So here's one coat. This one is a bit sheer and a bit streaky on the first coat. Formula is good on this one, very easy to apply. I'm going to be a little bit shaky with it at first because I just finished swatching a bunch of polishes that were on the thicker side and now this one is more normal and so I'm kind of like putting it all over the place but I'll get used to it as we go on. So here's two coats. This one is still a little bit streaky on the second coat so I'm going to do a third. It's just barely, barely streaky though so I think you could probably get away with two coats. I'm not even sure I'm going to do a third the more I look at it. Yeah, I actually think I'm going to call this one good on two. It's barely there, but I don't think that the streaks are bad enough to warrant a third coat the more I look at it. So there is two coats of Between the Seats. The next polish is called Coming Together, and this is a light sheer pink. So here is one coat. So you can see this polish is very sheer. It is meant to be sheer. Essie doesn't do a ton of these sheer polishes anymore that they used to do like all the time, um, except for in the bridal collection. Formula is good on this one as well. So here's two coats. So this one is starting to build up in two, but it's not going to probably cover the nail line completely ever. I will do three coats though, because that's kind of my top out for swatch videos. So here's three coats. So this doesn't cover the nail line completely, but it actually covers pretty close, and it covers the whole nail evenly, which is really important for these sheer kind of colors. Since this is more of a jelly, it dries very shiny. So there is three coats of Coming Together. And the next polish is called Steal His Name, and this is a kind of peachy, pinkish, sheer color. So here is one coat. Again, this is a sheer color. It's a little tiny bit streaky, but I'm hoping it'll even out in the second coat. And the formula is good. I do feel like this one would run down the sides of your nail a little bit if you do too thick of a coat. I did too thick of a coat with my pointer finger, and I've got some pooling right there on the side. So here is two coats. So this one is still a bit sheer on the second coat, a little bit streaky still. It does seem to be building up more than I expected from like a sheer, sheer polish though. It might even cover almost completely on the third coat, we'll have to see. So here is three coats. So I wouldn't say this one covers completely in three coats, but it is pretty close. And I'm doing a thicker third coat to try to even out those streaks. And I apologize for how dry the skin is around my nails. This is like my third swatch video today, and I still have two left after this before I am in the clear for vacation. So there is three coats of Steal His Name. The next polish is called Groom Service, and this is a lighter purple. So here's one coat. This one covers pretty well on the first coat. It's a little bit, well, I guess it was a little bit streaky when I first applied it, but it seems like it evened itself out pretty dang well, actually. Just a little bit sheer. Formula is great on this one. So here is two coats, and this one does cover completely in two. Definitely two, not like maybe kind of two like the first one was. This one also dries pretty dang shiny. So there is two coats of Groom Service. And the next polish is called Passport to Happiness, and this is a light mint green with a green shimmer. So here's one coat. This one is a bit sheer on the first coat, but it does look like that shimmer stands out nicely on the nail. It's not just in the bottle. Great formula on this one. So here's two coats. This one actually covers completely in two coats, which was a bit surprising for me. I was expecting it to need three. It does dry a little bit dull, so you will want a top coat. But another thing that I did notice is that there really aren't any brush strokes in that shimmer. So you don't have to be, you don't have to worry about those sticking out at all. So there is two coats of Passport to Happiness. And the last polish is called Mrs. Always Right, and this is a dusty kind of pinky red color. So here's one coat, and this one is completely opaque in one coat, which is nice. 
I was kind of hoping it would be because the last few Essie shades like this that I've seen have had that kind of formula where they're opaque in one coat. It is a little bit on the thicker side though, but that helps with the opacity. So there is one coat of Mrs. Always Right. My favorite is actually Passport to Happiness, which is kind of a surprise favorite for me because I looked at this in the bottle and I really didn't think I was going to like that shimmer that was in there because I just kind of tend to not like shimmery polishes anyway. It contrasts really nicely, the shimmer stands out, and it was a good formula as well. So I actually liked this one unexpectedly. So that is the Essie Bridal Collection for 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye!